Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're going to talk about two walls, four walls, and six walls in our rooms. Well, we don't call them walls, but they're surface areas, right? We have six planes in our room, floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewalls, front to rear. So six planes in our room would be a, a better way to talk about it, not the kind that fly in the air either. Six surface areas or walls in our room. Two issues always in small rooms, pressure, Reflections, low frequency energy below 100 that won't fit. Reflections above 100 that'll fit, but bounce around everywhere, so they're not happy. So we got low frequency energy that doesn't fit, it's not happy. We got middle and high frequency energy that's bouncing around like a bunch of kids on sugar. So we got a lot of problems. We got pressure and reflections. So for reflections, each surface area creates about 17% to the problem. We're going to get a 60-70% resolution number if we're going to have good audibility, okay? Speech intelligibility and stuff like that. Pressure, four walls, six walls, two walls, you know those words, axial, tangential, and oblique. They even have names for them. Two walls, parallel, axial, four walls, tangential, and six, oblique. So it's, it's powerful. Floor to ceiling, smallest distance usually, 98% of the time in rooms, the shortest distance will be the floor to ceiling distance. If it's the shortest distance, it's going to create the biggest problem. When we look at this seven, eight, nine foot ceilings that we're faced with in North America here, 60, 70, 80 cycles is the issue. Not good. It's a, these are everywhere in all music. You can't cross over out of this. Okay? Can't set up out of them either. Can't position your speakers or your listening position to get out of those because they're everywhere in the room because the ceiling is everywhere in the room. So you get that roller coaster ride. So we get, let's look at our baseline here. So we get 40, 50, 60. So we usually have, see these small rooms, big peak 40, maybe a little less at 50, might go up again, 60, and then it starts to slide in the 60, 70, 80 cycle region, because that's the ceiling getting in there, right? So you got this huge peak. So you got exaggeration with the peak, then you got a, a, this attenuating slide here. It's crazy. I don't know how you get anything done there, and I know you don't. So it's got to be fixed. And all rooms are like that. All small rooms have that curve. You know, it's like a big wall, and then down here. I mean, that should be somebody's logo you're doing room acoustics. Maybe we'll change our logo to that. I don't think so. So anyway, that's what we got. Pressure reflections, two walls, four walls, six walls. We forget about the floor to ceiling. Don't. Big, big, big problem. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.